Hey guys, how's it going? John here. And I've got a Tutor LMS website pulled up here on my computer screen. And one of the things I love about Tutor LMS is you can get started for free and you can even sell your courses with WooCommerce for free right then and there, right? It's pretty awesome. But one of the challenges in Tutor LMS for for the longest time has been that this course page was never really designed for conversions. It was never really um, that customizable. To customize how your courses looked was just a matter of filling in some box and you get what you're gonna get. Well, all that's been changed very recently with the team, and I wanna show you this new update that allows Tutor LMS and Elementor to be all interwoven like so. Let's go ahead and dive in. So before I show you the new hotness, this is still a very good looking um, course page, right? It gives you the title, who it's from, even shows you how many people are enrolled, when the course is updated, the duration of the course, like it's got a lot of good stuff going for it. Um, but what if you want to do more, right? We are all very greedy people. We always want to do more. So if I go in to edit this, I pretty much, it's WordPress, right? So I can fill in the boxes. I can put some more details in. I can maybe, um, you know, add some more lessons here, but you can't really design it, right? There's not a whole lot you can really do. Um, all that's been changed. Let's go here to my plugins and a new plugin has been released called Tutor LMS Elementor Add-ons, 100% free. It's pretty much brand new. So, you know, like if you're totally mission critical, maybe wait for a couple of iterations, but it's looking pretty solid to me. I'll activate it here on this website and now check out what happens. If I go back to Tutor LMS and I go into a course, you're gonna love this. Now I've got the edit with Elementor button available. So if I edit with Elementor and I pull this up, look at how cool this is. So not only is it like where I can go in and I can change some things around, I can, you know, it's about course, edit this content. Cool. Yep. It works. I can also completely add in like anything else. If I wanted to go in and create some info boxes here and make it look all beautiful. Um, I'm on the free version of Elementor for this website, so I can't do a ton, but I can put in my icons. I can design it out like a full page. And what's cool is it's almost like a theme builder where this is the title. Maybe I want the title to be above the ratings. Boom. Let it be done. If I want to get rid of the star ratings in general, bye-bye. Gone. If I want to get rid of this entire section, this entire column, I can probably do that too. I haven't even tested all these things. But look like, like requirements. I can maybe move those down. You can even move it into a section. Like you've got full-on design control. This is pretty crazy. The... Um, the little video, maybe I'll put the little video over here. Let's just have some fun with this. I'll move this section all the way to the top. Let's add a section above it. You've got complete design control here, guys. And it's kind of the best of both worlds because you could totally design this out how you want. Um, now this doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Uh, and if I want to go in to, I think I should be able to go to Tutor LMS. Yeah, course reviews, I can add some reviews right here. I can, um, let me, if I type in tutor, I can just see the course. So it looks like the organization could kind of be helped a little bit because I'm not quite sure where to find everything I want. Here we go. Tut oh, there it is. Okay, tutor LMS. No, we're good. So course rating, course title, course level. I can add that right here. And you can build out your entire sales page. This is pretty darn cool. What I love about this, which now that it's like getting my juices flowing here, is you could essentially use this to lead into a funnel. So what I never really liked before with Tutor LMS was that the sales pages were just going to go to that classic, um, you know, WooCommerce buy area. But now check it out, y'all. What we could do is actually link this up to a funnel inside of cart flows if you chose to do that. So here's like the course enrollment box. I think this is gonna, yeah, like view cart. Well, that stinks because it's just gonna go to the the cart and add it to your cart. And that's not very, that's not very fun. So what you could do here instead, let's have some fun here. I know this is still looking quite a little crazy, but we're working with it. I'm gonna update this and let's go back to our dashboard and we can create a funnel inside of cart flows where if you wanted to have specific upsells and downsells for your courses, you don't need to do any crazy redirects or anything anymore. You don't need to have it when they click on the course area, they're actually going to go into this funnel. And sometimes you can get a little crazy here. I'm just going to add, let's start from scratch. Oh, I need to do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm on all my free versions right now on this uh, website, which is really limiting me. I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> So I'll get rid of one funnel so I can create another, hopefully. All right, so let's create another one here. And I'm just going to start from scratch. Ugh. 
All right, so I'll import this flow and I'll just call it tutor LMS. Import, great. And in this case, I'm just going to send people straight to the checkout form. So I'll get rid of this first bit here and let's change the product associated with this one here. So I'll just add the course product, first course sale, add it in, boom. And let's grab the URL for this guy. So I'll come back and let's view it. Here we go. So now I have my checkout form here. And what I could do is inside of my uh, Tutor LMS course, let's go back to edit this guy. Let's say you wanna build this out like a long sales page and you go and you add all your designs. I can maybe even pull in some templates from some other template store here, make it look really, really good. Boom, bring him down here. Let's add in like the call to action. Okay, let's pull in like a pricing table here. This will work for me. So, and let's go ahead and just get rid of two of these since we don't need all of them. Now for this button here, instead of going straight to that annoying WooCommerce uh, cart and all that stuff, I can paste in the link to my CartFlow's checkout page. And if I view this course, now this is like the course page, right? So you can make it look however you want it to look, add in the data from the little wizard over there, but you can also go nuts with it and make a very beautiful landing page. And when they click buy, you can actually take them to your own checkout experience. No adding to cart and all the additional steps. You can you know adjust the uh, checkout fields, everything you need to do. And boom, you can have your upsells, your downsells, bring it all in. Pretty fancy stuff. I kind of want to go through and make a whole new video on start to finish building a website using only these free tools, which I'll definitely do for you guys. So if you like that idea, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with your friends, and check out Tutor LMS. Pretty cool. Nicely done for a free plugin. Now, as I'm here, like these are entirely free tools. There are pro versions of everything, which I'm running into these limitations a lot on this video, um, but you can get started for free, make some money, decide to you know invest from there. Hope this helps, take care. Did you realize every time you hit like on one of my videos down below, it increases your conversion rates by 1%? Don't ask me how, it's science. So make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button over there, check out more of my videos up here, and down here, grab the freebie that's made just for you. Thanks so much, I'll see you in the next video.